Picture this. A Latin woman gets caught red-handed cheating on her boyfriend. Now, instead of owning up or even apologizing, she flips the script and get angry. And trust me, she doesn't just get a little bit upset. Oh, we, we done. What do you mean we're done? Are we still recording? Is yeah, yeah. She blows up big time. But wait, there's more. When her boyfriend finally realizes he has had enough and breaks up with her, what she does next would leave you shaking your head. Like, I gotta go. You like bugging. So here's how it all starts. The boyfriend, who's been suspecting something fishy for a while, finally gets proof that he needs. Her secret is out, and instead of being remorseful, she flips the table. Literally, she's yelling, crying, and trying to make herself the victim. Riri, you are Dominican. How is your cousin? Dude was blocker than me. Just stop recording me. Can we just talk for All right, fellas, let's think about this for a second. Whenever a woman is confronted, and immediately go to anger that lets you know she's kind of guilty. We're going to be reacting to that plus more videos today. But it's just your short too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so your friend is not your friend if she got to hide her man from you. Girl, what? And that snow bunny will see a black man with potential and she will invest in him. Trust me, you want to stick around and watch the last one. I bet you can't guess what's going to happen. I don't want to hold you. Go ahead and hit the like button. Definitely share the video. This your first time watching. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get to it. Man, open the door. Can you please get away? Can we talk? Riri, no, I got to go to work. Can okay, go talk. But I'm alive. Can we talk? Can go ahead. Put the window down. No, speak. No, none of that. Put the window down. No, I'm up to me. I can see you. Put the window down. Yo, talk. But Who is he then? Who is he? My cousin. Riri, you are Dominican. How is your cousin? Dude was blocker than me. Just stop recording me. Can we just talk for no, a second? No, we done. What do you mean we're done? I'm just not recording this. You're never f way. Yo, yo, yo. See, my mom told me not to talk to you. Mix tripping. Like, I gotta go. You, like, bugging. You she Dominican because Dominican women love wearing... <clears throat> she Dominican. Dominican women love wearing gold name chains for some reason and big hoop earrings. Plus, she's mad and angry and look like she's something fierce. Oh, she definitely got caught cheating. If you was in this situation, what would you do? In my opinion, guys, if you catch a woman cheating, don't even confront her. The best thing for you to do is stay silent and just disappear. The only thing is I understand I'm short. I get that. I am pretty short and I'm shorter, <laughs> but it's just you're short too. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> how tall are you? I'm like 411. Oh my god. How tall are you again? 5'9. He's almost a whole foot taller than her. I know, but you see? Do what? You can look over your head. <laughs> but I can't like tippy toe. That's a nibble. Thank you, Eddie. <laughs> Women don't know what they want. You get a guy that's taller than you, successful, got his life together, and he's still not good enough. But for some reason, y'all still love having babies with guys who don't qualify for marriage. Make it make sense. Your friend is not your friend if she got to hide her man from you. Girl, what? I had to end a 10 year relationship with a friend because she was out of her man from me and my other friends. Girl. She probably know you're a thirsty thought bot and she's like, girl, I'm, and she's like, girl, I'm about to get married. I don't want my husband being around you. Yo, it's never her friend. That shit don't even make no sense. Let me tell y'all the story. So mind you, we was talking every day. We was hanging out every day, but we was hanging out a lot. Child, why I found out she had a man on Facebook? And so I hear her up and I'm like, wow, you got a man. She was like, yeah, we've been dating for a year. She don't want you all up in her business. And believe it or not, happy people don't want nobody in their business. I was like, all right, let's go out. Let's double date. Let's do something, whatever. Oh, she said she's not ready. All right, cool bet. Your friend do not have to tell you everything about their goddamn life. Go to the club. Home girl had a man there. Sis thought she seen a ghost when she seen me and my other friend walk in. Because she know you and your friend are just bitter girls running around looking for trouble. Women love chaos and confusion. She was with her man. She nearly broke that damn door down trying to run out. Now that's kind of strange, but it's a reason why she don't want y'all to know who her man is. So I'm like, oh, we don't know him. We don't go to school with him. So I'm saying, what is the issue? So we went over there to introduce ourselves. Sis was about to throw up her rum and coke. He was super nice, super chill, cool, nice guy good-looking guy tall whatever smell good love that for her 
Sis, what's the problem? The problem is she got a good man. She want to keep him for herself. They probably on good terms. She don't want to get around you and have the energy thrown off. So you try to find all the negative in him to get her to break up with him so she could continue to hang around you and your girls. Women start to notice that over time. That's that weirdo shit I'm talking about. Like, I'm not really understanding it. But it's not for you to understand it. As her friend, it's for you to respect it. I've mentioned in previous videos, if a man was able to be taken, he was never yours. But if we're your girls, we're your friends. I've never had a situation where a friend flipped with my man or blah, blah, blah. I don't roll like that. I've never been around women like that. So I can't relate. You too invested. Just let that shit go and focus on your friendship with her. Because at the end of the day, that's your friend. Who gives a damn who the hell she dating? For safety reasons, yes, you want to know. But in due time, when she wants to introduce y'all, she will. Let her do it on her own terms, not when you want to. Jealousy. You're just jealous that your friend have someone and you know that she's about to leave the friendship. And I tell people all the time, your friendship is about to end when everyone starts to be real with each other. And then you start to see the arguments come up. That's what's happening with her and her girl. She got a man, a high value man. She's ready to settle down and she getting away from you thought bots. A big difference between the snow bunny and the African queen is the snow bunny will find a black man in progress. She will find him on the job. She will find him on the university. And that snow bunny will see a black man with potential and she will invest in him. She will help him level up. And then when the sister see him five years ago, five years later, he's a millionaire. And the sister say, look at that sellout. He went and got a white girl. But guess what? When he was looking for a sister to help him level up, to invest in him, none of them wanted it. You know why? Too many black women want a finished product. Black I women disagree. have to stay with me. Black women have to stop expecting men to be a finished product. It's harder on us. Help him level but up. What? Stay with me. Help him level up and become what you need him to be. Because the big reason why these snow bunnies are running off with black men is they're meeting them when they have nothing, but they believe in their vision. And black women are waiting for him to cross the finish line. And by the time he crosses the finish line, the snow bunny then snatched him already. I just straight facts when you become successful as a black man you know how easy it is to get black women and actually have multiple baby moms they all put up with it once you're successful but when it comes to other cultures they can see the black men who are trying to build see one thing about other cultures they learn the difference between a black man and a nigga fast the only ones that don't know the difference between a black man and a nigga is a nigga they think everybody's a nigga. That's why they lose. I don't respect men. Did you have a father that you respected? I didn't disrespect my father. He wasn't around. <laughs> so that's the thing. So stop it there, right? You so didn't yep. even have the prime example of what you needed to carry your love for men in your later ages. Your father wasn't there to instill certain traits in you so you will accept a man's love. God's love comes through the father so since you don't really know how to experience and digest a father's love that means that you don't really know how to experience and take god's love because that's where the love trickles down from right the father's love is much differently than the mother's love the mother's game, love is good. more of a coddle love you fall down you get back up oh baby it's okay you fall down you get back up oh baby it's okay to the point when you're falling down so much the father's like stop falling right what are you doing but out. the father would tell All you right. that the first time right. why, why are you tripping and falling Get yeah. up. Yeah. Oh, my God. My dad that that you. For the father's love is a disciplinarian yes. love. God's love is discipline. disciplinary. Think about it. Yes. God wants you to repent before you go to heaven. That means mm -hmm. that I love tell me what you did wrong and day. repent your sin right. and then you'll get to the promised mm -hmm. land. But if you don't repent, forget you. You're not going and here. that's that father's uh, love. If you're not changing your behaviors, then hey, get out of here. And he's right. These women have not been taught what a father figure is. They've been around their mother and their mother has told them that men are the enemy. You don't need men. And if you get pregnant, be prepared to be a single mom. Mothers set them to be Mothers set their daughters up to go through depression, to make mistakes, fix their own mistakes, and then want to be congratulated. Most of a woman's ego is fixing a situation that she put herself in. I think sometimes we don't know what not to say to men. I'm learning, but I think we say some real hurtful stuff that really will. And men don't, y'all don't forgive. 
Y'all act like y'all cool, but if a woman say one thing that it y'all that's worse than anything. Mm-hmm. Y'all the worst is the worst yep. shit ever. And then yep. because at the end of the day, I don't know about all men, but me, I feel like even if you didn't mean it, you said, you said it, it, you wanna mean it. Yep. You feel like that. How do your mind even think of some shit like that to say when it come to me? If you didn't feel like that. You feel like that. You just wanna take it back and cry and you ooh, you you oh, but that shit stuck, baby. Mm-hmm. That shit worse than anything. That shit worse than anything you could ever did. Ain't going away. So why y'all stay? Cause I love you. But that's why I'm down. Oh, but, but you really feel some kind of way about you by yeah. saying things like that. Yeah, but, but some niggas will wait on you to hang yourself. I, I know you feel some kind of way now. I got my third eye on you. Mm-hmm. Anything yeah. that don't add up, bitch, you out of here. When a woman starts being real with you and telling you the truth, but joking it off and laughing it off, it's over with. Because real people, they're going to be honest with you from the beginning. When you're in a relationship with someone and y'all are just lying to each other because you don't want to offend each other, it's kind of like they really care, but they're acting care. The moment that they start being brutally honest with you, they're really ready to move on because all your little flaws they've been ignoring, now they're getting sick of them and they know I got to continue to lie to this person in order for them to feel better. Women say ignorant things. Because you guy that you're in a relationship with, you really didn't like him. If your ex was here right now, what would you tell him? It's been seven years of him wishing me happy birthday, and he didn't wish me happy birthday yesterday. So we're about to go put a sticker on it that says happy birthday, Callie. But how are you still talking to your ex, though? Not only that, but it's been seven years. You haven't moved on, and you're still thinking about your ex? You should at least have two more exes. Because of best friends. You don't think that's toxic? It probably is, but if I'm in a good relationship, then he goes wet. So you're single, he's single. You're both to go see him now. Why not just get back with him? Because he wasn't the best. I don't care what you do with your life as long as you have a plan with your life. He doesn't have a plan with his life. He doesn't have a plan. Seven years later, you're still thinking about him because what? He was good in bed. You're still thinking about the loser. It's not like crack tips to me. But y'all are on talking terms. Are y'all still bumping uglies? Yeah. No, we're not at all. There's no man hooking up. There's only been talking. You think it's a red flag that she's still friends with her ex? She's just a whole lot more than friends, bro. No, it's, it's not. The, yes, it is. Stop. You think she's capping? She's definitely capping. Heavy cap. Stop. Heavy cap. Heavy cap. Oh, yeah, but can I say one thing? We should normalize hot women allowing to be friends with their exes that they're not going to get back with because they know that they deserve better. It would make sense if you were hot, but you're not even that cute. And you're complaining about an ex from seven years ago. It says a lot about you. I am a nurse practitioner in the emergency department. A lot of my friends are professionals and we're doing well, but we are single. Chronically, nurses are single more than anything else. What? You think so? Now, actually, I did a broadcast talking about the kind of women that high value men typically don't date. Nurses were in that category. Oh, wow. For a multitude of reasons. But what's funny is go back 80 years ago and nursing was some of the most feminine work you could do. Today, nurses work really long hours, those three days a week, 12 12 off, high stress. There's a lot of things that go into it. But at 30 years old, do you have any children? No. At 30 years old, you said me and my friends are all doing the same thing. What are some of the issues you're finding when you personally are trying to date. Do you want to get married? I do. Do you want children? I do. How many would you like to have? At least one or two. Don't have one. Have two or none. See, <laughs> only children is a horrible way to be raised. What's the oldest man you've ever dated? 32. So that's one of the issues. Age gap dating. One thing that I don't think a lot of women have been told is men, our brains don't really turn on until age 30. Yours turn on around 20. The light is just now on. Click. The lights on between the 20 and 30, we don't know shit. I call it the twinkling 20s. The more, the closer I got to 30, the more I realized I didn't know anything in my 20s. Between 30 and 35, this is where most men who are productive, competitive, and successful are starting to determine what kind of wife or family they would like to have, if any. Personally, don't feel like men in this country are ready for marriage until they're 35 years old. I agree. Men mature. It. 
I agree. It takes a man to mature longer in the United States because we have so many opportunities to remain little boys. We get to have more fun with our life, especially when we're dealing with an era where guys are not looking to get married. They're just looking to have fun and they've went drizzled. If you agree, get in the comments. Talk to me. Definitely share the video. This is your first time watching. Hit that subscribe button. Go in the description to watch more of my videos. See you on the next video.